Hi, my friend, thanks for being here and congrats on choose to invest a little of your time in learning something new. Get involved in content that develops your creativity through colors and shapes is a great option to keep stressful energies far away. In this second video, Mandala Artis Design Tutorial, you will learn how to paint mandalas with acrylics step by step. By clicking on the link above, you will watch the first video and clicking on the video description, you can download this mandala partner. If you went to the end of the video and saw that this content was helpful for you, be sure to like and subscribe to always stay up to date when a new video comes out on the channel. Let's have fun! I will start with an MDF 45 cm painted with a layer of white. Where I've drawn it, the image shows how far I drew and this is, will be the basis of our mandala. After drying with the pencil, I erase a little, leaving the marks lighter. That way it's still possible to see the drying. Doing this makes the paint process easier. Because when working with some light colors, it can stand out and you will have to paint it repeatedly. With the beveled brush, I start by painting the petals. I chose this brush because it helps me paint types and corners. If you are already used it, to work with another type, there is no problem. The important thing is to get the desired result. During this video, I will show the first coat of paint, but it's not enough. It's necessary to give the second or even more depending on the shade. As I paint the petals, notice that I paint a line down the middle and move the paint downwards. Then I do the bottom details by bringing the paint in the opposite direction. Don't worry if at some point you've allowed the paint to pass the marks. When you finish painting the base, you can adjust the details. After the paint dries, it accepts corrections without leaving any differences.
With a fine brush, I will draw a line along the edges. With the beveled brush, I will make all this internal part of the corners and the ends. Now with the flat brush, I paint into approaching the circle mark. I left a difference of about 5 mm. It doesn't need so much accuracy, as this part will be covered by another color. After painting three times, I got this result. With the flat brush, I put paint on half of the brush with darkest color and the other half with light color and all apply it little by little. Then I come down with the brush strokes.
I do this process again. If the brush is not flowing well, you can wet it a little by removing the excess, making the brush slide more easily. With the beveled brush, I paint the other circles. First, outline one part following the mark and then the other.
Here I'm using the flat brush I paint three times because this color is very light. I switched to the beveled brush with a high number, but you can paint with the previous brush, it's a matter of preference. and hardly fall on the markings. With the chalk pencil, I drew this other part as shown in the image. And I keep painting with the beveled brush interspersing the colors.
fine brush, I outline the petals, give a finish. I drew the petal smaller and used the pointillism to add details. If you still don't feel confident to do this directly in the mandala, it's okay with a little patience and dedication to train first in a paper, you will get it. I paint the edge isolating the back of the mandala with tape so it doesn't get dirty. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe and receive more like this. Share with a friend who would love to receive this content. If you have any questions, let me know. I wait for you in the next video.